Hi, Gemini. It's Star with, I with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Um, so I'm doing the readings different again. I'm going to do what I call is the whole story. And so we're going to go through the entire deck, Gemini. Okay, and this is going to be for your love reading for August 2019. So let's see. Let's see what your whole story is, Gemini, for this month. What is the whole story for Gemini? Whoa, I didn't want all of those at the same time. All right, let's go. All right, first card. Where the heck is it? <laughs> is it? There you go. Six of Pentacles reverse. Five of Swords reverse. Temperance. This one wanted to come out. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Four of Swords. Hmm. So I feel like you're giving something time. Because um, you're contemplating something. You're contemplating whether or not maybe someone belongs in your life or they don't. We have the Princess of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Eight of Cups reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. The Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've been in conflict with a partner. Um, not really wanting to interact with them because they bring you a lot of stress. And it's like you don't want to deal with that, but you're still attached emotionally. It's just like you don't want to deal with them on a, a mental level or even like on a physical level. Like you just don't want to be around them. You want to be alone. You want to focus on your happiness. Like what is going to make you happy? You want to feel peace of mind. And um, you may be feeling like you want a new beginning, but you are giving this time because it's like you want to give it your all. You don't want to get out of the situation and then feel regret afterwards, you know, because like you didn't do enough or whatever. Like you want to feel like you gave it a good fight, you know, that's what I'm getting here. Um, but yeah, there is no denying you are looking at perhaps making a very major decision uh, about your future. It's just I feel like you're not yet ready with the death card here. You're not ready to make that final call. Um, it's like you want to give it some time also to heal. Time heals all wounds. Because there there may have been some nasty words said or just uh, things got out of hand. They got a little bit too heated. So you want to just not put any more energy into this situation right now. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I do feel there is love here for this person, which is like clouding your judgment because a lot of times, you know, it's very difficult to stop loving someone. Um, but the fact that you love them doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be with them. Um, and sometimes we just love people but are not in love with them. And so when we're at like the end of a relationship, that's, that's a fine line to, you know, learn to distinguish you kind of have to learn to distinguish it at, at a certain point in a relationship you know so yeah i kind of that's what i'm getting here with this uh, seven of cups it's like some confusion around this relationship and the emotions that you're feeling about this person so what you most want to do is sort of take a time out give it some time let all the emotions flow until you get some clarity and are able to make a decision Prince of Swords, maybe see things in a new way, be able to express things in a different way. Eight of Wands reverse, yeah. I feel like you may be wanting to talk, but now may not be the right time. Um, and you know, because you'll know when you have the clarity that you need. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles reverse. Um, let's see. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords. 
so there's a real sense of instability almost of being paralyzed in a sense around it's almost like you're stuck in the middle of this storm this hurricane where there's so much going on around you but you almost feel paralyzed there in the middle there's nothing you could do but watch the madness unfold um, and and still having to deal with all the emotion I feel a lot of sadness around the situation uh, but a sense of you know knowing what you need to do just knowing that now is maybe not the time to do it because of the state of mind and emotion that you're in okay so we're ending up here with the three of swords so let's pick these cards up so we can continue all right so three of swords dealing with that sadness from this situation very similar reading to um i can't even remember who it was maybe capricorn so if you're dealing with a capricorn that may be okay the sun reverse the two of cups reverse the queen of swords yeah this is being very very sad very depressed even because of breakup the separation between a couple well the lovers reverse yeah this could have been a soulmate um or it felt like a soulmate somebody that you were very very close to very um you felt like a special bond to wow the ace of cups reverse huge disappointment i feel immense immense sadness the queen of pentacles reverse the ten of swords yeah it's like you lost your rock who you thought you could really count on and we have here look the sun reverse and right under it is the moon uncertainty complete uncertainty uh, because you're dealing with so much emotion judgment yeah I feel like whatever is decided here that will be the final decision and that's why you're taking your time because you know there's no going back like once you make this final decision maybe that's just who you are like once you cut somebody out that's it there's something that's flipped here I feel it where are you oh goodness ah that is so annoying <laughs> all right let's continue I could have sworn there was something flipped. All right. Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you're going to get frustrated at how much time it's taking you to um, get over this, like, emotionally. Uh, to like you're going to be asking yourself how long before I stop missing this person how long before I stop you know all the crying and being regretful and wanting to see them but it will happen eventually you know you're going to see what you needed to see and and be filled with you know a renewed sense of um drive and of um, confidence. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Reverse, the Empress. The Emperor, wow. So what I'm going to say here, uh, Gemini, King of Cups reverse. I feel like you guys have to be careful, okay, because old habits die hard, okay? And I'm feeling like this person is going to see this partner that you're, you're going through this breakup with. Um, they're going to sense your vulnerability, especially at certain points. You know, there, there's points in that... 
you know i always forget what it's called but that cycle of grief i think that's what it is you know if somebody really knows you well and they observe they may be he or she may be watching you from from afar that you know like they're observing your behavior and they know your behavioral patterns they can pretty much take advantage of certain things that you may be going through or feeling and I feel like this person may come in you know very passionate trying to change your mind about going off on your own and you know trying to convince you but I feel like this person is really just trying to manipulate you um, you know trying to lure you back like oh you belong we belong together you know don't go off starting things on your own okay so that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting so just be aware that that may be happening um, and we are continuing here with the king of cups reverse now these cards had also already come out so we have the ten of pentacles and the tower reverse so yeah I feel like this uh, relationship with this person was something very long term okay you guys may have been married or you were living together you were just dating for quite a while we have the Six of Swords and the Hierophant, but you are moving away from that now. And you know, because that shakeup, you know, whatever happened there, whether it had been cheating or just a big fight or whatever happened, it just made you see that um, you need to go. You need to get out of this relationship. Because even, you know, during the reading, okay, we have the Princess of, Pen Princess of Wands reverse and the Hermit. Even during the reading, it, it, it just feels very um, oppressive almost, like negative. Okay, yeah, see? We have the Hermit followed by the Chariot, which I feel, again, I feel you guys are going to give yourselves ample time to make this final decision. But you are moving forward. It's just uh, you want to take that, that, that extra time to really be sure that what you're doing is the right thing for you. I know I saw it flip. Good Lord. <laughs> All right, I guess not. Yes, there she was. Okay, we have that Princess of Cups. And the five of wands i'm telling you this person is not going to let you go without a fight like they are going to put up a struggle they're going to have temper tantrums they're going to try to do whatever they can do to keep you from leaving i feel like um let's see prince of cups three of pentacles um, you may actually have like competing offers there may be other people you know getting wind that you are uh, all of a sudden becoming single um, and so people may be knocking on your door Gemini hmm. what I'm getting here also is like just be aware that that there may be, you know, attempts to like come to agreements about the terms of the breakup, whatever that may mean for you. I feel like is again is just a ploy to like lure you into conversations or or even just arguments. Maybe they just want to argue, um, but it's it like with this guise of uh, you know wanting to talk about the the ending, the breakup, the divorce, whatever this may be. Okay, we have, yeah, as you see, the devil. So it's like the intentions are not not very good. Um, so again, just be aware of that. We have the five of pentacles. The two of wands reverse. So five of pentacles and two of wands reverse. Yeah, I think you're going to see this. <laughs> it, they're going to reveal themselves, like how fake they are. Um, you're going to see that they have ulterior motives. They actually just want to get information out of you. Um, or just, you know, lure you back to them. But also, then it's going to be 
getting information out of you. So yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. I feel like there's a need here for you to protect yourself. And you are going to be very guarded around this person whenever you're dealing with them trying to negotiate. I feel like you're going to really hang back and just watch what they do. Okay, Prince of Pentacles reverse. There is going to be some delays. Um, there is a sense of needing to, you know, wait and you getting tired of the wait for things to happen. Yeah, feeling stuck. Stuck, stagnant. Uh, around this ending because this person has ulterior motives so they're going to do everything in their power to slow things down to throw a wrench in things so just again just be aware this person is manipulative and not very trustworthy at this moment maybe they were at some point but at this moment because of the things that are happening they're not really on your side okay Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this, um, I feel like, you know, you guys are both kind of trying to protect yourselves. And so it's going to be very stressful dealing with this person because neither person wants to budge. Both people want to get their way or the highway. Okay, and they both think, like, you guys both think that you're right. Okay, there's a, I, I definitely feel there's somebody here with a huge ego problem. Um, I feel like it's whoever you guys are dealing with. It um, could be a Leo, but yeah, definitely the ego is an issue. Um, we have the full reverse. And again, it's causing, it's like they don't want to give in. Their ego is too big for them to be able to come to some sort of agreement. And so this will cause delays in whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish. Okay, we have the four of cups. The Six of Cups reverse. So yeah, some time of, you know, feeling dissatisfied because you can't get on with your life. You know, you're having to continue to deal with the past and seeing them for who they truly are here. Uh, trying to, you know, hold back your new beginning with their lies and deceit. Okay, but yeah, you, you know, you gather your strength. You um, find some sense of stability. Let's see here. Yeah, what I'm getting here is that, again, what's meant for you is meant for you. No one can take that away. And I feel they're just trying to slow you down, but I don't think they're going to be successful in doing so. There's only so long that they can, you know, make you, uh, like, hold you up. It can only happen for so long. Uh, but eventually, you're going to make things happen for yourself, okay, with this Magician card and Three of Wands here. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it's going to come to you. They cannot stop you for too long. They can only delay things, and they will, but they will not be able to, they will not be successful at stopping you um, completely, okay? So, but yeah, there is a need here for you to kind of be on alert, is what I'll say, okay, Gemini? So that is your whole story for the month of August. So let's move on now to your finance and career reading. Okay, let's take a look. We have the Six of Cups reversed, the Knight of Blades, Three of Wands, Three of Coins reverse, and the Seven of Coins reverse. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see what this Three of Wands is about. Three of Wands is about like expectations. So there were some expectations. Okay, we have that clarified by the Six of Wands. So whatever you were expecting to happen, um, you know, in the past never happened. We have the Five of Cups reverse. So what I get from that is that you were disappointed, but you didn't let it get to you. You kept on going, even though there was 
some sort of setback here in the past is what I'm seeing. Whoops. Okay, yeah, we have that with the Queen of Wands. So again, you didn't let it get to you. Your confidence remained intact and you keep going. So Six of Cups reverse with the Knight of Swords or Knight of Blades. Nine of Wands reverse. I'm feeling like, um, let's see, the Hangman. Yeah, I, I just feel like here in the past, you didn't allow it to get to you, but presently, I'm getting that the wait has been too long, that you're just about ready to give up on this past situation. Uh, maybe you received bad news or something. Let me get, sorry, let's take that one, the Hierophant. Too much red tape around something. Knight of Blades, we have that with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, you may have gotten some bad news that something was at a standstill. It's, it's not going to move forward as planned. There's more delays. Five of Pentacles reverse. Maybe it's like we need more money in order to be able to continue. Yeah, and so there is like this weight. The world reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. There is a weight for you to get what you want, what it is that you are desiring in this situation, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, okay? So however that resonates for you. We have the Three of Pentacles reverse here in the middle, so somebody may not be cooperating or, you know, fulfilling their end of the deal or something like that. We have a King of Wands reverse, so not doing something, not cooperating, not being on board. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. That's what's causing you the delay. Somebody is not wanting to do what they're supposed to. So it's like you're dependent upon somebody else. Seven of Cups and the situation is unsure. We have the Death card. You guys may be actually thinking of just calling it quits because you're like, this person is never going to come around. I'm not going to get what I want and I'm just wasting my time here. So that may be because in the future we have the Seven of Pentacles reverse, which is a card about, you know, feeling frustrated because you're not getting what you want. And then we have the Moon reverse. So maybe you find something out and you find out that, yeah, you were right all along. You're not getting whatever it is that you've been waiting for. It's not coming. Let's see, Queen of Swords reverse the Four of Pentacles. Wow, so yeah, um, I'm feeling like bad news. Somebody's giving you some bad news, revealing something you didn't know. And I feel like what they're revealing is that, yeah, whatever it is you've been waiting for from me, I don't want to give it up. I want to hold on to it, probably for myself. One more. Now, this is just for the month of August, so this is not to say that things cannot change. We have the Empress Reverse. So yeah, some, somebody around you who does not want to cooperate. It's whoever it is you've been waiting on. Uh, they're just very stubborn. They don't want to give. They're in that mode of just not giving, not ha letting you have your way just because. Okay? So that's what I have for you, um, Geminis. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.